What's going on, y'all? It's 2KJ. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate y'all for stopping by, man. We're back out of here with our rebranded NBA series where the Tucson Coyotes are feeling themselves, man. We're off to a 2-0 start to year number two with a pair of dominant wins over the Detroit Dragons and the Nashville Sounds. Now we're here on the road for a game against the Omaha Mammoths. It should be a good one, so let's not waste any more time, man. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let's get it. So taking a look at the Omaha Mammoths, we beat them last season. However, that was before they made this trade here. So they used to have Michael Porter Jr. as their small forward, and they made the trade for De'Aaron Fox and are now doing a three-guard lineup. Very interesting, um, but it worked out for them, man. I think they made, I want to say it was the second round of the playoffs last season, um, but they finished as one of the hottest teams in the league. So super excited to go ahead and go up against them. Taking a look at the matchup, it's Kay Cunningham versus Jalen Brunson, Jalen Green versus Donovan Mitchell, OG Ananobi versus De'Aaron Fox. Uh, ben Simmons versus Patrick Williams and then down low it's Chet Holmgren versus Onyeka Kamu. Let's go ahead and get into this tip off man. So here we are at the Tundra and actually these jerseys look a little similar. Not sure how this is going to play out um, aesthetically. You know what we're going to restart this man one second. So that never happened. <laughs> that never happened. I decided to exit out come back over here and change the jerseys. We're just going to roll with our home threads um, since they're white nice and simple. Let's go ahead and do that, man. But now, let's go ahead and get into the jump. Second try here. We are here at the Tundra. Chet Holmgren going up against Onyeka Kongwu. I, I would assume you'd win that tip, Chet. Come on now. Um, but yeah, really like these jerseys by the Mammoths, even though it is um, a bit difficult because, you know, Navy, a lot of these road teams have black jerseys, um, but that's fine. As you see, we forced the turnover here. Nice, like to see it. And actually, now my controller's dying. <laughs> guys, I'm a mess right now. One second. All right, we're back at it. <laughs> my bad, guys. I just came off of work. Um, so, yeah, I'm uh, trying to put out some content. But obviously, my mind is still a little uh, a little overworked here. So, we see OG missing the shot. We got to knock those down, OG. Got to knock those down. I feel like we haven't been shooting as well as we should be from deep this season. As we see on Yekka throwing it down. I mean, all of our guys progressed in terms of three-point shooting, so you would think that we'd be even better this time around, but hasn't really translated. And, oh, that should have been a blow-by. That should have been a blow-by. All right. Let's actually get a real play set up. I feel like we haven't uh, been able to do much of that this season. That's a wide-open look. Jalen! Here we go. Let's get it, Jalen. 3-2. to two. He just had a really big game um, in our last matchup. So, yeah, he's coming in hot, man. I think it was 37 points that he had. Um, I guess, honestly, I'm blanking on the team that we played um, because we beat them so badly. Wasn't it like a 50-point win? Uh, Nashville Sounds, that's who it was. Yeah, um, that was just a forgettable game, man. Too easy. I do think the Mammoths are going to give us more of a test, as we see. I should have been open. But De'Aaron Fox, man, he is undersized of the three, but he's at least going to be able to close out very quickly. We know that much. Can we get this screen? Let's go. There we go. No, nothing there. Yeah. Not great. Not great at all. Um, there we go. As they as they get the board. Yeah. This is one of the teams that I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on this season. Um, I was keeping an eye on them down a stretch of last season. And yeah, I'm really interested to see what it looks like with a full year under their belt. As OG just threw on Yeka Kongu to the ground and now he's confused. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be a foul og you threw my boy to the ground like that um but all right patrick williams with the ball here gets it to donovan mitchell who's been absolutely lethal in real life with the cleveland cavaliers one of the most exciting um young rosters in the league uh, all right is it gonna be one of those games <laughs> i'm coming in a little bit off my game i had the jerseys messed up my controller all that and here we are off to a bit of a rough start but let's turn this around, man. Let's turn this around. We've been really hot our first two games. Don't even try. Oh, man, I jumped too early. All right, 6-3. to three. As they have one of the rare uh, leads against us this season. I'm pretty sure we've led most of the season. Actually, the entire season, now that I think about it. Because I don't think that the Dragons ever took the lead against us. They might have. I might be wrong, but I don't think they did. I think this might be the first time we trailed is Chet Holmgren. That's a big boy board and a big boy finish. Six to five. Let's get it, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the first time that we trailed. Because we started out both games like with a nine to nothing lead. It never really looked back. So 
yeah little adversity man we like it that's what i wanted i was wondering if i needed to boost the settings or not um i don't think i do because it's not like i won the championship last season as we see i'm drawing a foul if i won a championship and then i come out just like dominating the first few games and okay sure i would boost the sliders a little bit more um but yeah we made the conference finals so we still have room to grow clearly as you see i missed the second one bruce brown can i take a charge <laughs> i tried it i don't think i've ever user took a charge i mean sometimes like one of my guys does just inadvertently um, but i've never actually tried to myself as that didn't work out they tried it right there and that's gonna be a dunk for k cunningham eight to eight let's get it man let's get it we are here all right chris dorte with the ball it's insane that chris dorte is what like 25 and he's in his second year in the league just absolutely wild um as we see steven adams nice job there by chet to prevent him from getting the offensive board that's a pull up yep they didn't get there in time oh we gotta make that Jalen. he kind of got there but that's a makeable shot as they have jeremy sochan um i just recently did the realistic spurs rebuild uh, which is a lot of fun if you guys haven't checked that one out make sure you do um, if you just want to see some some content that's not rebranded our uh, rebranded series you know trying to mix it up around here but yeah he actually turned out to be really nice in the simulation so you see chad holmgren let's get it man we're on top 11 to 8 yes sir darren fox with the ball as they have multiple ball handlers like we mentioned here yeah, that's a tough assignment trying to stick with him. You see, this is where it'd be easy for me to just put Jalen Green on him. But then who's guarding the other two guards that we have? I guess is OG guarding like uh, Donovan Mitchell, I guess. Is that what we should probably be doing? I don't know, man. We're going to see. We're going to play it by ear here. Is that as a blow by, but Steven Adams with the block. That might be the best thing, though, is Jalen Brunson being guarded by Cade. Get their chats. Nice job. Yeah, so Jalen being guarded by Cade. It's going to be an easy bucket. Um, and one, chat. Jalen Brunson being guarded by, I guess, OG. Yeah. And then De'Aaron Fox would be guarded by Jalen Green. It's probably the best bet for us. But we'll see. If either of them causes us trouble, then we'll make that change. But for right now, I'm fine with it. I tend to procrastinate just making defensive moves. I don't know why I do. I should really do it heading into a game. And yeah, you know what? We're not going to mess with it. <laughs> I always try to procrastinate, man. So let me make this change real quick. So Cade is going to be guarding Jalen Brunson. Donovan Mitchell will be guarded by OG Ananobi. We'll have Jalen Green guarding De'Aaron Fox. And then the rest of this will be the way it usually is. Ben Simmons um, guarding Patrick Williams. And then we'll have Chet Holmgren there. So, yeah, man, I think that is the best way to do it. It'll take effect after the next dead ball. Um, cause I don't even want to mess with it, man. This is a dangerous team. So I need to make these changes in advance before one of them starts to cause some trouble. Um, so let's see, are we going to have enough time for something real quick? Let's get this. That's going to be an open look for OG in the corner. Yep. OG. Come on, man. All right. 14 to 12. We got a two point lead here over the Omaha mammoths as we get set for the second quarter. K Cunningham with the ball here. Jalen Brunson guarding. That's a blow by. And a hard foul by Chris Dorte. All right. Free throws for our man, Cade. He's averaging 21 and 9. And the 9 is rebounds, which is pretty crazy. Um, I don't know what his assists are. As we missed that first free throw. Let's go, guys. I want to be a top 10 team in the league in free throws this season. Free throw percentage. Um, I didn't check what it was last year, but I'd imagine we were probably bottom 5. Um, at least, you know, maybe bottom 10 if we're lucky. But, yeah, I want to be better, man, because we left a lot of free, easy points on the table. That's nice defense there by OG. Yes, sir. That's probably something Jalen wasn't doing, man. So, already, that's a good move. Jalen Green. Okay. Yes, sir. That's filthy. The reversal. Hey. Let's get it, man. 17 to 12. Like I said, Jalen's coming off a really strong performance against the Sounds. And he's already off to a good start here. Yeah. It's a nice lob threat. Onyeka Kongwu, a guy who um, is really closing ground on um, Clint Capella. You know, Clint's been the starter there for the Hawks for a minute. 
Um, but I like Onyeko a lot, man. He's obviously the one that's going to be part of the future since Clint's a little bit older. There we go. Jalen! Got to knock that down. But yeah, like me some Onyeko Kongwu. Honestly, like me pretty much everybody on this court right now. Jalen Brunson, he's obviously been really good in his first year with the Knicks. Such a tough finisher around the rim, man. Um, yeah, taking a look at the rest of their guys. Donovan Mitchell, obviously, he's been great first year uh, with the Cavs. That's an open look. Jalen, he's going to miss two of them. Nice board, though, Cade. Here we go, Chats. <laughs> Someone finish it, man. All right. Hey, I'm, I'm a little too casual right now just talking, man. This, this game really should be like a playoff type of feel um because they are a playoff type of team so let's lock in here man let's get serious there we go it's gonna be easy yep we're there why are you jump in chet holmgren 10 points three boards he's feeling it man he is doing his thing right now let's get it we're here yep we're all the way here yep k doing a nice job here on jalen brunson Let's see. They're going to have to put something up quick here. Six seconds on the shot clock. Come off that screen. Nice job. Ready to rotate. All right. It's going to be free throws for Onyeka Okongwu. Speaking of which, Onyeka is averaging 12 points per game. Perfect from the line so far, but I think I saw they're only 1-0 this season. And he's not perfect anymore. Um, but, yeah, so they've only played one game. This is their second one. Jalen wanted to get him jumping. All right, let's try a little motion play. So they want to get it to OG. Oh, yeah, that was a horrible decision by me. Like, what? Did I think that was going to work? <laughs> that was so bad. All right. That's a nice floater. But Chet Holmgren, man, really is just our defensive anchor. I mean, he has been sensational, really, since he became a starter. Um, but especially, like, towards the back end of last season. In the start of this year, as you see Ben Simmons, he's on the board two, two, and two. <laughs> we like it, well rounded. Uh, Kay Cunningham here guarding Jalen Brunson, and they're gonna call a timeout. Back out of here, where Steven Adams is set to inbound the ball. He's one of those guys that I don't know, it kind of just worked out. As you see Donovan Mitchell, he kind of just fits this team, don't you think? Like, he just looks like he'd be someone who plays for the Omaha Mammoths. I don't know why. Um, but there's a few of them like that. You know, Kawhi Leonard playing for the San Jose Lasers. So he's pretty much a robot. <laughs> um, you know, there's a few that are pretty cool. I really wanted Victor Wamanyama um, to get drafted by the Paris Reign. You know, they had the worst record in the league last year, at least one of them. Uh, but they fell all the way to the seventh pick. But that would have been so cool. But, yeah, there's a few that it actually um, has worked out pretty well, which is cool. As we see, we're going to try to get that to Ben. I think that's what I was talking about last game, man. If it's a loose ball, you can already kiss a goodbye. <laughs> um, with the boosted settings, they just get every loose ball. And yeah, we left Bruce Brown open. Got lucky. Let's run that with Jalen. Love me some Bruce Brown, man. There we go. Let's go, Jalen. Yes, sir. He's being aggressive, man. I think I saw 10 points for him. Is that what it was? Eight points. Eight and two. We'll take that so far. And yeah, this is the better matchup, having him guard De'Aaron Fox because of the speed. As OG should be able to stay in front of Donovan Mitchell here. Yep, we're there. We're there. That's a tough finish, though. He's one of those guys, man. You know, just sometimes better offense um, or offense beats defense at the end of the day, you know. And OG is going to be doing his best, but there's going to be some shots that, you know, Donovan Mitchell is just going to make. I just going to keep leaving Jalen open. Come on now, man. Come on now, man. 26 to 21. We're here. We're here, man. Oh, and I don't know why I went for that steal. Get back, get back, get back. Luckily, it's Jalen. He's quick enough. <laughs> we see Bruce Brown with the ball. Yep. We're on that, man. We are on that. Yes, sir. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped. But nice job, Cade. Let's go, man. I really think we've gotten a lot better defensively this season. That's a beautiful find. Cade's hyped. We're all hyped, man. 28-21. to 21. What a way to end the first half. As we get ready for the third quarter now. Back out of here for the second half. Seven-point lead right now. Feeling good, man. Feeling good as we see Cade Cunningham get into the rack and draw in the foul. It's going to be two free throws for him. 
Just trying to pick up where I left off, man, from last season, specifically in the playoffs. You know, he just really was attacking so well. And I want to do more of that, man. I feel like in the regular season um, last year, Cade kind of just became like, not an afterthought, but, you know, he was really just looked at it, the guy to facilitate our offense. When in reality, I mean, he's definitely capable of creating for himself. I mean, shoot, he's what, like a 90 overall now? <laughs> um, so, I mean, we should be using him a lot more, um, similar to how we did in the playoffs. And so that's what I'm trying to do here. Lucy check. Can you go coast to coast on him? Oh, yeah. It's the slowest coast to coast ever, but that's a nice find there to Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Tough. We got to finish that, Ben. Got to finish those, man. As you see, OG, he's done a nice job on Donovan Mitchell so far. Really, we've done a good overall job on the three guards, as I say that. Jalen Brunson knocking that down. Yeah, he doesn't need much space, man. He's so good at finishing around the rim. So crafty. Um, just uses an array of moves, really. Um, like a seemingly endless bag of moves. Um, love me some Jalen Brunson. As we see Ben Simmons coming off the screen there. Yeah, I was a little worried that was going to get stolen. But let's see. Oh, man, my control is going crazy. All right, there's not going to be enough time for anything. Yeah, putting it up. Yeah. All right, 30 to 23. 30 to 23. I really don't want this one to be close down the stretch, but I feel like that's what it's trending towards. That should be a clean block, man. Do I do I challenge that? I don't think so. Because like I said, I think this will be close as we see Jalen averaging 17 and 10. Yeah, I think this will be a close one, man. So I'm going to keep that challenge, my one challenge, uh, in my back pocket here. Actually, let's get this ball to Jalen. I should be letting him go down court. Um, you know, he's got the speed. See what he can create. That's an open look. Oh, I wanted it for OG, but I accidentally passed it down low to Chet. Doesn't matter. It worked out. Easy bucket for Chet Holmgren, who now has 12 points, five boards. Yeah, he's been really good, man. I think he's got like two blocks, something like that. We're there. We are there. We got to get that board, though. Why aren't we boxing out, man? Got to be boxing out. This is what I'm talking about, though. Let's get this to Jalen, see what he could do. Hey. Hey. They can't stay with you, Jalen. One more. Yeah. All right, what can we get? What can we get? A little give and go as we give it. That's a horrible angle. I'm not even going to try that. Yeah, that's a horrible angle to take. You got to go outside, not inside uh, when you're doing that because it's so hard to get a pass off, especially with the settings being boosted. As we see, Cade is one for seven from the floor. That's not great. And Jalen Brunson knocking it down 32 to 30, man. Let's lock in here. Let's lock in here. All right, let's see. Um, you know what I'm just realizing, guys? I said I'm a little uh, I'm a little off right now. I forgot to put this on auto from the last game. So yeah, that that's my fault. <laughs> I was like, I was like, man, our guys are tired, bro. We need them to like, we need some help, some subs. Yeah, well they haven't been coming in, cause I'm an idiot. So all right, hopefully that'll help us out, and we're just gonna call a timeout. All right, guys. Hey, that's my fault. That's my fault. But we got a tie game here. We're gonna bring in the bench. Give our starters a little bit of a rest here, and hopefully that'll help us out. So let's go ahead and get this, man. Gary Payton set to take this inbound pass. Let's go, man. Y'all should be rested. I mean, y'all are y'all are fully fresh right now. You have yet to play. All right, BC, bro. You knocked down a corner three. You got a few of them, but that's not a reason to be hanging around the perimeter like that, man. I need you down low, bro. So you see, they want to actually have Jordan Walsh here. Uh, that was their recommendation is to actually give him some minutes uh, instead of who who are they not playing buddy healed oh yeah nah y'all wildin bro y'all wildin we putting buddy Heald in that game i want to see what we got with jordan walsh but nah man this is a this is like a playoff type game even though i'm uh not all there right now um yeah so we need buddy healed in this one man this is not the game to test it out with jordan walsh but here we go let's run this with gary Yup, can we get him jumping? No. Ugh, come on, man. Come on. Here we go. Stop the ball, yep. Or not. That's great. Nice job, Chet. Chet Holmgren, man. Just so elite defensively. ZC, can we free ourselves up for a three-point shot here? Actually, if we zip that. Oh, that's a beautiful find. Beautiful find, but we got to knock that down, Gary. 
We have to knock those down, man. Come on, we're here. Stay with them. Yes, sir. A. We know that screen's coming. Yep. Nice job. Good defense. <sighs> Who got that foul? Dylan? Yeah. All right. Free throws here for Jalen Brunson as they're going to take the lead. 35 to 34. Is it going to be 36? It will. All right, boys. Come on now. Let's go. We're not going to lose this game. That's for sure. That much I know. We're not going to lose this game. I wanted to get him jumping. Ah, it's not there. Come on. What can we get going? Something quick. Something quick. Come on. We're going to dump this down to Chet. Yep. Oh, that was a nice uh, switch there by Steven Adams. All right. Let's get this stop here or not. Thank you. I didn't mean that. I was about to just yeet that thing. Half court heave. All right. 36 to 34. I need to lock in, man. I need to lock in because we are not losing this game. I promise you. All right. Fourth quarter. Applying pressure. I can't get that steal. One of these days. All right. Let's get it, man. Waiting for that kick out. Oh. Yeah. That was a tough pull up. I was expecting him to uh, take it all the way to the rack. Yep. It's nothing there. I know they're tired, man, but I think we got to just put the starters back in. I mean, like... The bench is not giving us much. That's an open look. Come on, Gary. We need this, man. Oh, Gary. Yeah, we need the starters in. We need it. We need it. I know y'all are tired. I apologize. That's horrible coaching by me. All right, man. We're calling a timeout. We're putting in the starters, and it's getting serious around here. It's about to get serious. Let's get it. All right, boys. Lock in. Can we get this blow by with Cade? They're not jumping. Let's see. Let's see. What can we get? Check. Let's hurry this up. Let's hurry this up. That's going to be Cade in the corner. Oh, it was a bit of a high pass, but Cade Cunningham knocks it down. It's a big boy shot. Let's go. Let's go, man. 40 to 37. I told you we're not losing this thing. We are locked in right now. We're all the way locked in. Way to stay on him. Way to stay on him. Just lead him to Chet. Yes, sir. Thought Patrick Williams might pull that there. He's got the little three icon by him. Decides to pass it up. Goes to the rim, or at least he's trying. Ben Simmons is all the way there. I wish you would. Get that board, Ben. The contest and the board. Let's go, OG. You can actually bully this boy, man. Come on now. Ah, it's not there. All right. Let's try to set something up here. I would love to get a three. Um, and tie this thing up, but if it's not there, that's fine. Yeah, it's not there. We're going to come off that screen. That's an open little look there for Chet. Come on, man. Three minutes left as we are down by three here. Yep, we're on them. We're all the way there. Yes, sir. All right. Got to switch up here with K guarding Patrick Williams. That's not ideal. Um, Let's see. Just stand your ground. Nice. There we go. They got to put something up. Beautiful defense there. Beautiful defense. Let's run that. I know y'all are tired, man. <laughs> well, let's get this to chat. Let's finish this game, man. 40 to 39. We are not losing this game. Come on now. Come on now. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Get up in his jersey, OG. Yep. All the way there, man. Just got to lock in defensively. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get that out of here, man. That's Chet Holmgren. That's Chet Holmgren. Oh, I thought about that. All right, we're going to try a little give and go, actually. If we can get uh, Cade in the corner here. That's not the best angle. I don't know why they want to keep going inside. And that's going to be their ball? I didn't see that. Did that bounce off of Ben? It's unfortunate. 40 to 39. The Mammoths have a one point lead with one minute and 53 seconds left in this one. Alrighty. Let's get it, man. Jalen Green on De'Aaron Fox. He's done a good job of staying in front of him for the most part. As I got switched up there. Yeah, I knew that was coming. There we go. Dodge the bullet. Run that with Jalen. Oh, that's such a dangerous pass. We got so lucky. All right, we're dodging bullets like the Matrix right now, man. 
Come on. Come on, let's get some point, Ben. Oh, if we get this downhill, he should be able to just run past him here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir! We'll take free throws. I can shoot free throws of Ben, man. I'm different. As I missed the first one. <laughs> All right, come on, man. Let's go, Ben. Yep, cash. Let's get it. 40 to 40. 40 to 40. So we are here. We've held him scoreless for a while now. I don't want to jinx it. But it all starts on the defensive end first, man. We're doing our job. Locking in, preventing second chance opportunities. On Yaka with the ball. We should have just stole that. We should have just stole that straight up. Come off that screen. Yep. Wait a... Oh, my. OG on Anobi. That's disgusting defense, man. Nice board there by Chet. Fighting off the screens. Bully that boy, Ben. Bully that boy, Ben. We got to make that, man. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yep. Oh, I was watching out for that kick out. Luckily, it's on. Yekka, let's go, Chet. Let's go, Chet. Run that. Run that, man. OG. OG! We are here. 42 to 40. We got an 8 to nothing run. They have not scored in the last three minutes and change, man. We're not losing this game. Stick with him, OG. Stick with him, OG. Nah, you're not getting that, man. Let's go. Let's run that. And if it's not there, we will slow it down. I would love to get a two for one here, though. Come on, we're right there. They can't stop you. Bully that boy, Chet. Come on, man. We are here. 44 to 40. The Tucson Coyotes, man. Told you we're not losing this thing. We are locked in. It's not a two for one, but it's still pretty good. We got a four point lead here. They're going to have to get something quick and then foul. We're in a good spot, man. Clamping defensively. I thought we can get that. That's a tough finish there by Patrick Williams. Let's not throw this ball away. I did that before last season. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have to foul here. All right. Two free throws for Cade Cunningham. We need them both. <sighs> Come on, Cade. Come on now. There we go. I wanted both to make it two possession, but it's going to be a three-point game here. No timeouts for them. They got to get something up. Yep, we're all the way there. We're all the way there, man. G-G's. As it looks like we're probably going to hold on, we still need to make this free throw here. At least one of them. Come on, guys. Not like this. <laughs> Not like this. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just keep him from getting something here. We're going to get out of Omaha with the win, man. Yep. GG's. Tucson! I told you we weren't going to lose, man. 46 to 42. We had the lock in. I started off this game um, a little uh, a little out of it, but we locked in. Chet Holmgren taking a look at that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I normally don't look at player of the game highlights, but he was hooping today for us. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stats here. Quick look at the in-game stats. You guys can go ahead and pause it if you want. You know the deal by now as we take a quick look at all of this. Let's go ahead and go in-depth on the normalized stats now. So it ended up being a 110 to 101 win. Chet Holmgren, another triple-double, 36, 22, and 10. That's insane. 34 points for Jalen Green to go along with five rebounds, five assists. K Cunningham, another double-double, 22 points, 12 boards, seven dimes, two blocks, four for 22 from the floor. Uh, yikes, yikes. But, hey, he made the free throws. We needed those down the stretch. Ben Simmons didn't get a double-double, I think, for the first time this season. Um, but that's fine. We didn't really lean on him to score much. Still 12 boards. And at the end of the day, that's the big thing I want from him this season is to help out on the glass. So it's not just Chet Holmgren having to do this, although he can still do that. Um, but yeah, man, still also had seven assists, a good performance from him. OG on Anobi, 10 boards, five assists, had that really nice layup down the stretch. Didn't get much from the bench, but honestly, we didn't give them a chance. They barely played anything. Um, so that's my bad, but still, man, a really good win. Not a perfect one, but a good one as we shift our focus to the last of a three game road stretch. And it's going to be against the Washington Warhawks. I hope you guys will stick around for that one. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. This has been 2KJ. Blessings.